right, buddy. What's your name? They call me Alley Cat. My name's Carmen Wells. Alley Cat Carmen Wells. They call me Alley Cat. My name's Carmen Wells. I've been out here in the streets 42 years, here and in Manhattan. And I'm just, I used to be an alcoholic and I drank my whole life away since since I was about nine years old, the Navy SEALs raised me. But they're all dead out here. I never did have a family. I don't know where they're at. I never could contact them. I tried that 25 years ago. What happened to your family? You left home? They just disappeared. I left home. I kept running away from home and they disappeared on me. What were you running from? Chasing dragons? You know what I was running from? I figured this out the other day. I watched Oliver Twist. I remember watching Oliver Twist when I was little. And I wanted to be Oliver Twist. A man with no responsibility. That's what made me want to run. No responsibility. Come down here downtown and you can drink all day with the old man not have a job, never had a job, never had a bill. I've never had a light bill. Look, whether you believe what I'm saying, that don't matter. I lived it, this is what I lived. The story I'm telling you is, and I don't mean it in a shrewd way, and I don't mean it in a harmful way or anything. But I, I live out here, I don't know how I'm gonna eat from day to day. Hey, it's hard, you sit out here for hours and hours and don't make no money. You sit out here five, six hours and won't make no money. Yeah. This is, this what made is, you want to go to Manhattan? What, what did you see there that wasn't here? You wouldn't believe what it made me go to Manhattan. You know, I don't really like talking about it, but I'll tell you the truth about it. My dad was a drug dealer. He was a big time, I was the son of a drug dealer, the a father. And he dealt big drugs, and I mean big money. People with machine guns that, on ships that don't even speak English. And he's buying hundreds and thousands of pounds of marijuana. Thousands of pounds, 2,500 pounds, 3,000 pounds. He's buying it off a ship in Texas somewhere. Anyway, he gave me a gun one night and said, hold on to this on you, we may need it. And I said, what do you mean we? I said, I ain't going with you. He said, you're going with me, boy, you're going to do as I tell you. I said, Dad, I don't want to go with you, man. He goes, why not? I said, I'm afraid I'll have to blow somebody away. He said, Carmen, if you have to, go ahead. And get in the car. I was about 17. I'd run away off and on. I'd come back home for a minute. My dad would bring him back home. Detectives would find me out here downtown Indianapolis or find me in Manhattan a lot because I sold fake Rolex watches in Manhattan. That's how I made a living. I, I, I con fake Rolex watches off. Buy them on the canal, way down in the canal, and in the, in the down, we, way down past the Greenwich Village, way east of, on the canal. And by sent here by the uh, Night Court, the movie Night Court sent here. The courthouse, that very courthouse. Yeah, that's, that's the courthouse I know very much about. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I know a lot of good people, man. I've been a, uh, people life's been good to me. When I lived in the streets, I used to have a cat, but my cat, someone stole my cat. Someone stole your cat? I had him nine years. You had your cat nine years and someone stole him? Wow. Kirsten was her name. What was the cat's name? Kirsten. Kirsten? How'd you spell it? I don't know how to spell it, but I know how to pronounce it. I just know how to pronounce it, but spelling doesn't matter. Just a pretty name, Kirsten. Kirsten. Kirsten the cat. So you grew up here in Indianapolis? Yep. They stole it. They Born stole and it. raised? Born and raised. Here in, in, in New York. See, I'm wondering how I'm going to eat tonight. What I don't want to do is just eat 
I want to go in a place where I can stay all night, you know, sneak coffee all night, get refills on coffee without stealing them. Go up and dance for refills. They, they got them where you can't steal them anymore. You got to pay for them each time you get a refill. But they don't charge you half price in certain places. Just to make up enough money tonight to get coffee and maybe some donuts in the morning. And hell, tonight I ain't worried about too much eating. I like to drink some coffee though. You know, but anyways, that's beyond the point. That's why I'm out here. I wouldn't be out here now in this cold. Where do you usually sleep at night? I go up. You go up? I sleep on top of the buildings. You sleep on top of the buildings? I sleep on top of the buildings, yes. How do you get there? Look, I ain't your average. By far. I'm old school. Said, done, and told school. And when I graduated... Old school, said, done, and told school. When I graduated, they shut the school the fuck down. Players get played, pets get paid. This is the only thing I'm telling you. Only thing I know is the streets. And I'll tell you what I know. I'll tell you what I know about the streets. There's only one thing. If someone asks me if I know about the streets, I tell them, yeah. There's only one answer for that. And they change every day. You don't know what you got coming. Most dangerous, I've, I've been over in Fountain Square. I've been in Mars Hill, been in Kenwood, 25th and Kenwood, 46th and Moeller, mid Opera. Now how do you get on top of the buildings? You go inside, you climb up. There's some of them to open up. You can go in and you can get underneath ground too. They got tunnels underneath here. They have tunnels, tunnels underneath the city. Oh, yeah. Underneath the city. the city, all the way, all the way out, all the way out to shit, all the way past. Far as I know, down as uh, White River, past White River, past. Past White River. Yeah. From here, that's like a half a mile. Yeah, they got they got hundred they got a hundred miles of track underneath the ground too. Track for what? Railroad. I don't know what they, was, what they were going to do. They got tunnels for some reason. No kidding. Yeah. Are they used? Can you stay down there indefinitely or do they do... People stay down there, live down there. Yes, they do. But they're Could dangerous. They're dangerous down yes, there? Yes, they're dangerous tunnels. So tunnels that's why you don't stay down there if you don't have the to? The most dangerous neighborhood I know of is downtown Indianapolis. At nighttime, especially at nighttime, these young kids shooting with guns. I mean robbing, stealing going on. It's all together the same. I, I, I choose to sit down and ask somebody to, if they can help me out. Uh, I don't know how to help myself. Uh, you might think I'm a working person. I'm someone that can't hold a train at all long enough to, 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 to work. I've, I've never had a job. I had one one time and I got fired halfway through it for a temporary service. I went in front of the judge to get my disability check. She checked my work history and she goes, this is the only job you had? And I said, yes, she goes, you got fired halfway through the day. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, it's for a temporary service. She was the girl that work, work history. I said, that I know of, ma'am. She said, that we know of. You never worked. I said, no. I don't know how to work. You don't know how to work. No, so shoot my disability. It's up in it's up in the calling. No, I know how to work. I can work like something I want to do. I mean, but I can't keep my concentration long enough. To you just can't focus. Focus. I'm on medication. You're on medication. Yeah, I take all kinds of medication. What kind of medications do you take? They're the psychotic medication. Or do you have uh, disorders? That you have I things that you suffer I got schizophrenic, bipolar. I got multi personality disorders, severe multi personality disorder. I have multi man depression, severe depression. I have uh, I mean, depression over since then. Ever since but when? I, I, since I lost my kitty cat, man. When did that happen? When did Kirsten go? About a year ago. A year ago, someone stole your cat? Yes. 
about a year ago and it's been downhill. I want to get another one, but I'd have to train it all over to stay, to not get scared, not to run, because Kirsten would stay in her, I'd carry around in her pen. You know, someone stole stroller. it from you. Someone stole it. Was that the only friend you had? That was my only friend, Kirsten. Someone stole her. What'd you say your name was? My name's Trenton. 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 Oh, that. You Farman? ever seen it? Yeah. You remember that movie, My Name is Trenton? And then Trenton steal my name as a Western. Oh, yeah. Trenton. T R I N T O N. Steal my name, yeah. Yeah. Trenton stole my name. Yeah. My name's Trenton with an E oh. instead of an I. Trenton. Yeah. Okay. Like Trenton, New Jersey. So you said you go to White Castle, and then you you go in there, and then you stand on the trash can, and that's how you wash up. That's how nobody knows. Yeah, so you don't get, get in the bathroom and you grab the bathroom trash can. It's about that tall. I can get inside it, and I can rinse up and take water and pour it down the the toilet. And you pour the water down the toilet without yeah, any way to know Right, and it keeps the place clean. Take a cup in with you so you can rinse off. Keep the water running. And then you got to dry up everything on the floor. You know, keep it clean. How do you, do you use like paper towels to wipe? And you have razors that you keep with you and you use? Sometimes I do, I don't have any now. So I'm in bad shape, I need razors. I need to clean up. I'm gonna clean up tonight. Get clean. I'll get a razor tomorrow. I'll give you a couple of razors. I got some with me. You got some razors with you? I'll give you a couple of razors. Right on.